Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's quick episode is going to be about a tire pressure sensor kit and all the little stuff that it has. So stay tuned on this really easy and awesome upgrade. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. See you then. Okay. So this is the tire pressure system that I've ordered. Nice little box. Model description. You know what comes in here. Some, some facts about it. You know, cool stuff, right? All right. Well, let me go ahead and pull the sleeve off. And this is gonna be shake the guy out. There we go. That comes off. Okay. Get some stickers. Not sure what the stickers are for. So I gotta figure that out. <laughs> a manual. You have your individual sensor kit. So you get, you know, four sensors. And then you get this here. Now this has the valves and all that portion. And this has some wiring. Like, what do you need a wire for for a tire pressure sensor kit? Well, that's what this little bag is for. Oh no, it's stick again. Stuck again. There we go. Voila! The sensor screen. So here's the deal. This particular kit does all this. Uh, gas leak, high temperature, high pressure, low pressure, low battery for the individual sensors, um, the actual temperature total, the the temperature, or not the temperature, but the pressure of each individual tire, um, and location. So that's cool, right? The reason also is, if you don't know, the XB does not tell you how low your tires are or how high they are. You just get the dummy light. <laughs> So, I could put it down here in this empty slot here, but I want to put it right here. Right? Can I read it? So that makes sense. And this I don't really use, so that can go down there. Okay. So I want I wanted to put this screen right here for easy to read. Two problems: a, this particular switch wouldn't fit down in these slots. The reason is this has like grooves on it on the side of it, the profile, and it lines up with a specific slot only. I could probably make this fit like down here, but I would have to shave either the canal like bracket for this or the bracket on, uh, or the actual side of the button. Well, I put the button here or the, the, the window or the screen here because I wanted to see how it fit. Because when I put this on there, it sat like raised up like this and it wasn't flush mounted. I was like, well, what does it look like down here? Well, it looks good, right? I mean, it's flush mounted, all that jazz, but I ran across a problem. I went to go ahead and take it out. And as you can see with like these buttons, I can actually put pressure on them and pop them out. This guy on the other hand, oh, this is not going anywhere. Uh, even if I squeeze it, dude is locked in. So, either I break the tab or I just leave it. I'm just going to have to leave it in there as is, and that's the new home for it now. Now, here's the actual valve portion of it. Um, I really like this color. I don't care for the cap. I don't. I think it looks tacky like that. I do have different caps I'd obviously put on, um, but... A nice little color um, in person it's this looks like a slightly like a brush or something on it but it's like more of a dark gray on camera though it looks kind of shiny and kind of chromey uh, but I think these would actually complement the wheels very nicely uh, if you don't know basically this collar right here this whole silver or silver piece this actually unscrews uh, and then you fit this portion inside the wheel and then the screws back on 
Uh, and then the actual sensor sits on the end of this. It screws onto that. And you would say, Mike, you have the screen, you have the sensors. How are we going to wire it? Super easy. This is the wire loom that comes with it. You have this little white plug that goes into the screen. Bingo. You have a ground, which is this piece here. Just slide it over a nut and a bolt. Good there. And then, bam, there's your power that goes into the fuse box with the appropriate fuse. That plugs right in, and then you're good to go. Everything's wired up. And everything else is done through the screen itself, through the menus uh, and the programming. They're already linked together, so you just have to assign uh, which center to which side and kind of mess with it from, you know, temperature stuff. Do you want Fahrenheit? Do you want Celsius? Do you want bar? Do you want PSI? All that fun jazz. On to the next part. Well, I guess if I ultimately needed to, I can somewhat read the sensor. I guess it would be all right. Still would like to have it higher, though. Hmm. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, again, link in the description below if you want to pick up this product specifically. Thanks for the support, the love, and help me reach that goal of 500 subscribers. Again, really do appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.